everybody, what's up? So last night, I went and saw... The Possession of Hannah Grace. I don't know why. I just really want to say it that way. So anyways, it was Friday night, and I was trying to find this movie online playing at a theater close to me. And I still couldn't find this movie showing up anywhere, playing at any of the theaters, which apparently was a thing with this movie. And which I thought was odd, because it literally was the only movie coming out this weekend. Unless you want to go see why it took four years to bring Mowgli to theaters, when you can wait a week and watch it on Netflix. And even weirder than all this, it still wasn't scored on Rotten Tomatoes. This is when I started to get concerned, and have to say, shame on you, Rotten Tomatoes. Shame on you for accepting hush money. I want my money back. This was false advertising on the part of Screen Gems and Broken Rope Productions. Oh my god, I am so disappointed. The trailer for this movie looked so good. I was actually anticipating this movie. I've been watching rated R horror movies since I was like five years old, and the possession genre is my favorite. How do you make a possession movie not scary? It's impossible. It can't happen. Well, they figured it out. Normally, you could say this movie was bad because there's just too many jump scares that Hannah Grace relies on too many jump scares. On the other hand, Possession of Hannah Grace here has no, really, it has no jump scares. None. Zero. Zip. Because it has no scares. First off, the guy telling her the whole story about the possession was performed and that's how she died. And you know what they say, if an exorcism isn't completely finished, the evil will find a new vessel. Here, let me go ahead and show you. Well, I got a weird one for you. Her name is Hannah Grace. And her family was performing an exorcism or something on her. You know what they say. If an exorcism isn't completed, evil will find a new vessel. That's false advertising. It's not even in the movie. The Nun was better than this. This currently has a 19% on Rotten Tomatoes. Who liked this movie? Let me see. A.V. Offer, New York City movie guru, says, Not imaginative nor clever enough to rise above meteorocracy, but it's nothing less than an intense, occasionally terrifying ride with stylish production design and superb visual effects. A.V. Offer, you're an idiot. Hannah Grace is so bad, it felt like a really bad sequel to another really bad, scary movie. This movie even starts with that movie. We're thrown right into it, Hannah's Exorcism, where, well, I'd tell you what happened and spoil it for you, but I can't because it cuts to three months later with Megan Reed out for a leisurely jog in the city in a Tomb Raider-esque, I'm a fit girl, so I'm a tough girl cliche montage. Somewhere along the way, we learn she's a hard ex cop who couldn't pull the trigger, so her now partner is dead and her boyfriend, well, we're just going to call him the worst actor alive, has left her. No, really, dude, you just suck. You need to go back to flipping burgers. So making a sex job at the morgue. I don't even know where to start to describe this morgue to you. So here, I'm just going to go ahead and show you a picture of the front lobby. So, I guess creepy five-star hotel would do? Here in the security booth, we have two security guards. One being low-budget Matt Damon. What's his name? Jesse Plemons? Well, we get low-budget Jesse Plemons, Max McNamara. And the other security guard, what's his name? Ah, oh, man, I can't think of it. Ah, uh, because literally, my brain is doing everything it can right now to try to forcefully push this bad memory of a movie from my brain. His name's Ernie. That's it. Old little Ernie. What happened to you, Ernie? I don't even know what the hell ever happened to Ernie. Is this when I got up and left and got a refill of the popcorn and almost left? Oh, my God, I think I found it. The worst movie of 2018. I mean, we still got a month to go, but how could anything top this? It's definitely, not even arguably, my biggest disappointment of 2018. So I stayed. I didn't leave. I stayed for this whole movie. I hoped it would change. Why? Because I paid for it. And that's the only reason why. So let's talk a little as why this movie isn't scary in the first place. Let's go ahead and start with Hannah. Well, first of all, she's kind of hot. I mean, she has really pretty blue eyes, and even when there's a fly crawling on them, they're still pretty. Pretty blue eyes that only come out when the demon has control. Really? You went there? That's just cheap. If you're thinking to yourself right now, this guy must be sick in the mind. This is what Hannah really looks like, so yeah, I think I'm in the clear. Second, the demon never speaks or utters a single word this entire movie. The single most terrifying thing that can happen in a possession movie is when the demon speaks and announces itself. 
They couldn't even get Possession Movie 101 right. We never hear it or learn why he or she is there, the purpose of why they want poor little Hannah's soul. Which brings me to number three. This movie has no purpose. No one's trying to save little Hannah. You don't even feel for the innocent soul inside the body because you never get to know her. The demon allows her to speak for about, ugh, 10 seconds in the beginning, and that's it. The editing, oh my god, it's nightmarish. And no, that's not scary. It's obvious it was utilized here to try to hide how shit this movie was. It's all over the place and makes you nauseous. The directing's bad, the writing's bad, everything's so bad. There's one laughable scene where Hannah's on the rooftop crawling like a spider monkey. I don't know if a spider monkey is an actual thing or not, but it's fitting for this. She does this throughout the entire movie, up and down walls and shit. Anyways, back to the rooftop. She's far away, then it goes dark. Then she's closer. Then finally, of course, she's not there at all. Nah, gotcha! Oh my god. Fuck! Thanos says it best. Dread it. Run from it. The possession of Hannah Grace is an F. And not just any F, an F minus. I want my money back, plus interest for the 80 minutes of life I'll never get back. Hannah possessed 80 minutes of my fucking soul. Anyways, guys, <sighs> I'm sorry. <sighs> Got a little overboard with that one. <laughs> Anyways, guys, if you like this review, smash that like. If you like this movie, I don't care what you think. And as always, if you want to be part of the adventure, subscribe right here and join the quest.